Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing okay. Um, this is my second card in my 2013 holiday card series. I started with a digi image today. Um, it's from Chrissy Armstrong. And um, you can purchase it at whimsystamps.com. And I printed the image out and I'm going to call it with my Copics. So here I go. Once I finished my coloring, I added some of my Martha Stewart coarse glitter on the bottom and around just to get the illusion of um, snow. And then I'm going to use my um, Dynamics Circle Stacks die set to cut my image out. And you can purchase it at mftstamps.com. And I use some post-its to hold the image down. I'm going to cut it using my Big Shot. And once I'm done, this is the image. This is my image. I actually I colored the background with my one of my Copics um, markers, and I used a light, a very light blue. And then I covered the entire snowman in the coarse glitter. For the background of um, my card, I am using my Wonderful Winter, one of my favorite paper pads, as you know. And I'm going to put my card together. First, um, my card base is actually a light, a very light blue. And then I cut this um, piece of red from my paper pad. And I use my sanding block to just kind of get rid of some of the little fuzzies. And then my card is actually a 5 and 1 eighth inch square. And then the red piece is actually 5 inches square. Before I adhere my red piece, I actually cut this die, which I love so much. And it's actually from Anna Griffin. And it's called the Cut and Emboss um, die. And this one is a snowflake. I actually cut it in white. And I'm going to adhere it to my red piece of cardstock before I adhere my image. So to cut it out, I'm just going to use some liquid glue and add that to my red background. I don't need a lot of glue, but just make sure you touch um, at least some of the areas. Like so. And I'm going to adhere it like so. Because I want some of the snowflakes to show coming out of from behind of my image. Like so. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess. I actually didn't like this um, little piece at the top, so I'm going to just cut it off. Mm -hmm. 
and this is what it looks like. Then I'm going to add here my main image. And I'm just going to use my blue glider to do that. Those little penguins are so cute. I think this is good. So I'm just going to use my glue glider, like I said, and adhere it to the front of my car. I'm just going to make sure I put a lot of adhesive and my little guys are going to go like just like so. And then I'm going to just adhere it to my card base. And I'm going to use my glue glider again. Try to center it. Oops. <laughs> like so. So that's the front of my card. I'm going to add a sentiment a little later. Um, but for the inside of the card, I use my Martha Stewart Frosted Snowflake Punch. And I just punch the same red card stock from the front. Adhere it to the inside, and then I'm just going to use this um, stamp from Inky Dinky Doo and stamp Happy Holidays inside. And I'm going to add some clay embossing powder and just heat set it. Um, the clay embossing powder works very well with my Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm just going to heat set it off camera. And that's pretty much the inside of the card. So, like so. And put a small sentiment in the front. I used the Bright Hopes stamp set from Stamping Up. And I stamped Merry Christmas and some of the same blue cardstock from the card base. And add some snow, silver snowflakes, brags, and that's pretty much my card for today. And I thank you guys for watching. And as always, 